Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pit Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. And having a really great day. In this video, I want to try something that I just learned recently from Chump Change XD. He just released this video called RTX 3060 Hash Rate Unlock in HiveOS Update. And uh, you guys should definitely go subscribe to him. He has a white 6x RTX 3060 build. Uh, these are the Zotac cards, I believe, and they're just, these are really nice cards. I can't believe he bought those. Anyways, guys, I want to go through LOL Miner 1.29. So, this was just released, and there apparently is an unlocker for Linux, okay? So, apparently, we can use these RTX 3060s in Linux now, but there is a caveat. We are only able to go about three-fourths of the maximum hash rate on uh, in Linux, okay, which I want to try. But as you guys know, right now, obviously, we are able to get about, you know, 50 mega hash on each of these RTX 3060s because we are using Windows right now. And of course, we have to utilize these HDMI dummy plugs or you can simply plug in a monitor. And as well, we have to use the NVIDIA driver, the 4.70.05, all right? The one that was leaked by NVIDIA. So <laughs> that's why we are able to get 50 mega hash on these cards in Windows. But I wanna try it on a, a Mindbox 12, and I'm gonna take those two RTX 3060s, plop them in here. I'm gonna put HiveOS on this MSATA, okay? And we're gonna have to uh, use this adapter to put HiveOS on there and uh, see if we can get Law Miner 1.29 to work. And as well, I just found out that HiveOS just updated it as well. They added the 3060 unlocker for Linux while using the NVIDIA drivers, version 455.45.01 and up to version 460.39. The other driver version outside this range is not supported. Okay, so we have to be mindful of that. This new mode that allows to mine at the speed three-fourths of the maximum speed of this card allow the use of risers, allow multiple GPUs in one system. So I'm hoping then we won't need to use these HDMI dummy plugs, which we will test. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool of uh, Wall Miner to get this to work. But unfortunately, only three-fourths of the max performance. I am gonna test it out in this video, but I'm most likely going to keep my RTX 3060s on my uh, Windows rig here. And if you don't have means to you know, run 3060s on like a motherboard that doesn't have X16 or X8 PCIe slots, then you will probably go through this method, all right, with Law Miner version 1.29 and Linux. Okay guys, so what I need to do first is just uh, put HiveOS on the MSATA and you guys will see these RTX 3060s in this Mindbox 12 in three, two, one, all right, you guys can see both 3060s are installed in the Mindbox 12. Looks pretty good. Each of these only require one 8-pin, so that's good. Okay, now I, I just want to quickly show you guys, in this Mindbox 12, I need to change uh, the OS on here. So it comes with an MSATA SSD, all right? This is not an M.2, it's, it's called an MSATA, all right? That's the connector, and uh, that's what we utilize on this Mindbox 12. So I need to use one of these adapters uh, to plug into Windows so that I can burn HiveOS onto here. And normally I would use uh, this SATA to uh, USB adapter uh, for SSDs, all right, for my mining rigs. But in this case, because I'm using one of these guys, they require this M SATA. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm just gonna put HiveOS on here real quick. So we're just gonna plop this in and I need to screw it in a little bit, all right? So it just goes like that, and then I need to put a screw right there. And then we're gonna plug the USB into my computer right here and burn the latest version of Hive OS, okay? So give me one sec. All right, it's all plugged in, and now simply we need to go download Belina Etcher, which I have already. Uh, you can use Belina Etcher or Rufus, or I believe Hive OS has their own flashing utility, so you guys can use this as well. Okay, so let me go back to Belina Etcher here. So what we need to do next is we need to flash from file. Uh, we need to go downloads, and I just downloaded the Hive OS image. Next, we need to select the target, and uh, you guys can see, you should see your M SATA or SSD or whatever you use uh, to burn Hive OS on. Select and flash, and that is it. Oh, you may get this error, hit yes. Okay, there you go, and uh, we'll wait for this. Okay, flash is complete. Now, what we need to do is go to HiveOS, okay? If you're in your HiveOS account, you need to make a new worker. 
and uh, depending if you have one or not. Just pretending here, so we're just gonna do 3060 test. All right, on this rig name and password can be whatever, and hit apply, save. Okay, now we need to download the rig config to the MSATA, okay? So when Bellina Etcher is done, sometimes you may need to take it out and plug it back in. So yeah, it doesn't show up here in the uh, file explorer, okay? So simply all we gotta do, I'm just gonna unplug it, okay? Give it a few seconds and now we're gonna plug it back in and see if it shows up. Yeah, it shows up, so that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna go back to HiveOS here. We're gonna download the rig config and uh, we're, it's gonna go in your downloads folder. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna copy this. Okay, copy this rig config and paste it into the uh, the Hive OS, the Hive D drive here. Okay, so uh, your lettering may be different on your computer. It just depends. Okay, and that's it. So make sure you close that and also go down to the bottom right of your screen and also click on this and hit eject. Okay, so that will eject the M SATA safely. Now we can unplug it. Okay, there we go. And now simply we just got to unscrew the MSATA and then I'm going to put it into the Mindbox 12 and then we'll try the hash rate. Alright guys, give me a sec. Okay, it's all in and now simply we're going to turn on my Mindbox 12. So here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, it's not turning on. Oh, there you go. It turned on. There we go. Okay, looks good. Man, this Asus Strix 3060 is a really nice card compared to the Zotac 3060. Okay, all right, it's just turning on and hopefully it should find network. Yeah, it will. Okay, so what we see on HiveOS here, this should go away once it, uh, uh, it connects, okay? So we just got to refresh the browser here a couple times. Uh, let's just go refresh. Okay, there we go. It shows up. Two RTX 3060s, okay? Perfect, all right, and now the driver may be the thing we may need to change. Let me just verify. So we need 460 point, uh, let's go back to LOL Miner here. And uh, they said we need 460.39. Okay, so any other versions will be locked speed. All right, so we need to downgrade the NVIDIA driver. I'm gonna go to remote access and we're gonna go Hive Shell Start. All right, and it's gonna connect to it here. We're gonna connect to it. It'll pop up like this. You're gonna hit this little icon, and it's gonna connect to Hive OS here. All right, now simply, we're gonna go NVIDIA-driver-update. Okay, uh, oh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, update, and then uh, list, dash, dash, list. Okay, hit enter and you will see a bunch of NVIDIA driver versions. So it asks you enter the version to install. And so we're gonna do 460.39 according to LOL Miner. Let me just verify that. Uh, 4.0.39, all right, perfect. So we're gonna go back to HiveOS here and uh, we're gonna type in 460.39. All right, gonna hit enter and it's gonna start doing its thing. Okay, so that took a couple minutes. Now it says installation is done. We're gonna go back to Hive OS here and uh, we're just gonna hit F5 to refresh and just verify the driver is updated. 460.39, all right, beauty. All right, next step guys, let's see if, uh, if I can get it to work here. We need to fix the uh, overclocking first before we enter the flight sheet, okay? I'm actually gonna be trying the overclock settings that Chump Change did, guys. Make sure you go subscribe to him. He's got 1430 on the core, 2300 memory, and 115 power limit, okay? And uh, you guys can see his hash rate's scary. He's getting about 37 mega hash. All right, so I'm gonna do that exact same thing. 1430, uh, 2300 memory, fan, I'll just do 60. Power 115, all right? All right, so that's it. We're gonna hit save. Okay, so now we need to make a flight sheet with the LOL miner. So we're gonna go to flight sheets here. We're gonna go coin, uh, wallet, just your ETH address, pool, we're gonna do Hive on just for a test here. Hit apply. Now the miner, this is where we're gonna choose LOL miner. Now, where is that on the list here? Uh, we're gonna just type it in, LOL, there you go. All right, that's it, I think. And we're gonna hit apply. 
All right, so made the flight sheet. Now we're gonna go back to the worker here, apply the flight sheet, and let's see if this thing runs. Okay, so lol miner, there we go. The flight has been clicked. All right. All right, guys, let's just see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna like remote into it so I can see what's going on. This, and uh, we're then gonna type in minor, enter, and it looks like it is building the DAG, generating the DAG, looks like it did already. Uh, it says detected mining lock, attempting to improve performance. <laughs> That is awesome. <laughs> okay, looks like it's working though. Yeah, we're getting 31, 37, 37 mega hash uh, each of the GPUs. So we're getting a total of 74, 75 mega hash, both of these uh, GPUs combined. All right, so that's pretty cool. 37, it says 27 here. Uh, 37, all right. So uh, let me just go back to Hive OS here. It's like uh, it's working. Hive OS is showing 36 to 35 in the web GUI. The power consumption is about 106 to 98 watts. Okay, I'm assuming the Asus Strix is gonna take more power because this card is definitely a lot beefier. All right, so it looks like it's working, guys. That's it. Wow, all right. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too hard. And uh, oh, it looks like we dropped 28 mega hash. Okay, no, 31, 37. All right, looks like it's still like, I'm assuming tuning itself or something. But uh, all right, guys, let me know your thoughts. I want you guys to try it as well. Let me know. But uh, ultimately, you know, this is what we can get in Linux right now. But uh, in my opinion, Windows has the better method right now. Assuming you have, you know, the dumbing plugs and uh, the X8 or X16 slots and the NVIDIA driver 4.7.0.05 in order to get the 50 mega hash, right? To unlock the full performance. So this way, it's only three fourths of the hash rate that we could get on these cards. So in Linux, which is, I mean, this is like an amazing milestone so far. And maybe in the future, we shall see a lot better. Hopefully 50 mega hash or something. Okay, well, my friends, thanks for watching. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.